one of the highlights starting at the Aureus Conservatory would be having a multiple opportunities to work with our uh, visiting artists. We are very fortunate to have artists and music educators who are very experienced and very well regarded in the industry such as Melvin Tan, Paul Boucher, Bill Thompson and Richard Dowling to be with us each semester for residency. Each and every one of our students have access to perform for them and to receive feedback from them. This is a very valuable experience that our students are getting. Just being able to play for them in a one-on-one -on -one session in a public master class, to attend all the wonderful workshops by them, our students are getting a very high standard of education and guidance and are learning from the very best very early on in their studies. At the concert tree, I'm very fortunate to be able to work with a group of students who are very eager to learn and very passionate about learning. The students have an ideal character. They are very attentive, open to suggestions and comments, and they are always eager to improve and progress. When the students are receptive to your teaching, and when they come back always progressing in the right direction, teaching becomes a lot more enjoyable and a lot more rewarding. From my experience being on both sides of the spectrum, being in school as a student and being an instructor right now, I can relate to two main areas. The first being that we have to constantly remind ourselves that every single one of us is unique. In the context of learning, that means our interests might not be the same, our study, study habits might not be the same, our values on which topics or which subject that we want to spend time on might be different. In other words, our students are not us. So anything that works for you may or may not work too well for your students. So we have to be a bit more open-minded and try to find the right channel to communicate to your students and to pass on the information you want to teach them. I also believe that we can learn best when we are enjoying the process, when we are actually enjoying the learning process, when we are in an environment where we can both have fun and also learn at the same time. So as a teacher, we have to come up with a, a creative way uh, to pass on the information, yet it also has to be effective and also educational. The programs at the conservatory are comprehensive. All the modules are designed in a way to be interconnected. They support each other, they reinforce each other, um, but they do have the same purpose, making our students a well-rounded performers and teachers. All the fundamentals introduced in music theory and oral skills are there to make sure that you understand all the harmonies, or the form, or the uh, nuts and bolts that makes the piece the way it is, so you can make a better decision, make an informed decision when you perform the piece or when you teach the piece later on. Aside from that, you also need to understand the context of the piece that you are performing or teaching. You need to know, first of all, who composed it, which era is it from, what is the composer having in mind when they compose the piece, uh, does the piece take, like, let's say, inspiration from other pieces, so you can make an informed decision or educated decision later to decide whether you want to do piece A and piece B because they are somewhat musically connected or maybe it has some sort of same technique. As for music theory class, we'll be looking at all the fundamentals such as chords, scales, intervals. Eventually we'll move on to analyzing a charter excerpt of music and then moving on to analyzing a full-fledged sonata or symphony, which is our main goal for this class, being able to analyze the music you play or the music that you are teaching. At the Aureus Concert 3, students will have opportunities to be in various ensembles, such as piano four hands or two pianos. In these ensemble classes, students will learn how to have a crucial ensemble skills, such as listening for balance or keeping rhythm, overall enjoying making music with your friends. These are all the qualities and essential skills that every musician should have.